you hear that wind? That is ridiculous. Maybe I... Okay. It's crazy wind. Cue the music. What's the last band you've come across that you really liked? The last band that I came across that I really liked and, st and still like is a band called Ra Ra Riot. And uh, you should check them out if you get the chance. And you do, you have the chance. I mean, you're sitting here watching this. Why not go check out their website? I'm going to guess it's rawrawriot.com. Would you like Richard Dean Anderson to play the leading role in the upcoming MacGyver movie? I love MacGyver. And there's only one MacGyver, Richard Dean Anderson. But however, he's, he's a lot older now, so if, if he were to play himself in the MacGyver movie, he would be a lot older. So that would work if they said it, uh, you know, if they sort of acknowledged his history as the MacGyver character. Um, and he's an older MacGyver. I really don't want to see anybody else playing the MacGyver character, though. You win $5 million from publisher sweepstakes, but on the same day, What's-His-Face gives you the check, aliens land on Earth and say they're going to blow up the world in two days. What would you do? Well, um, I mean, I guess I could try to bribe them with the money. I mean, I don't, I feel like these are two unrelated things. Am I supposed to, oh, maybe it's supposed to be like a spending spree. Like, what would you do if you had two days to spend money because it's not enough to really like buy a spaceship and go anywhere uh, or and not enough time to really build like an underground thing or uh, I don't know what uh, oh I guess they're blowing up the world so it doesn't even matter underground doesn't matter uh, what would I do with five million dollars I don't know I mean I'd take the aliens out to dinner I guess I mean but like a really nice dinner you know really do it upright if you weren't a bass player what do you think you would be doing for a living if I wasn't a bass player, I would be, I would pre, I would be a writer, I would be an actor, a comedian, a plumgician. <laughs> Think about it. Oh, my toilet's leaking, and I don't have anybody to entertain at my son's birthday party. Who do I call? What is your opinion on the paranormal? Well, um, much cooler than just normal. I think that, um, I think that a lot of people have a misconception about ghosts being these sort of evil, angry things. My personal opinion is that ghosts are just like anyone else. You get some bad apples, sure, they get all the press, the movies are made about them. And then there's just like the normal, good ghosts that are just hanging out and doing normal things. Got any tea slash coffee slash drink suggestions? Two suggestions. One is I like a soy cappuccino with a little bit of agave nectar in there. Agave nectar is kind of like honey but the bees don't get raped um, and it has a really low glycemic index which is good for the hypoglycemics out there. Second suggestion for beverage would be what I'm drinking out of my tabby mug here, which is, um, it's a green chocolate rice dream. Homemade. It's tasty. What do you like most about each member of AFI as a person? Everybody in AFI is really smart, and that's one of the things that I admire about the other guys. Individually, I have to say that Jade is awesome at Galaga. Dave really excels at Miss Pac-Man. Adam is like the Sudoku master, and uh, and then there's me. What is your most favorite book ever? One of my favorite books of all time is Nine Stories by J.D. Salinger, and I also like Love in the Time of Cholera by G.G. Marquez. When you became vegan, what was the easiest slash hardest thing to abandon? The easiest thing for me to give up was was anything dairy because I became lactose intolerant. And to avoid stomach cramps, that's, that's a no-brainer, as they say. The hardest thing for me to give up was milkshakes, even though that's sort of the easiest, hardest, um, just because I love, love milkshakes so much. Even after I became lactose intolerant, 
I would still force myself to drink milkshakes because I love them so much. I think my house is going to blow down. The big bad wolf is outside and he's ready to fuck shit up. <laughs>